Hello friends, Miss Natalie here. This video I want to show you how to use some of the options in the text tool in Krita. Um, the text tool is right up here. It's text. It's that big T for text. Um, a text tool will either create a vector layer on top of your paint layer or it will add a vector item to your vector layer. I'm working in a vector layer, layer right now. So if I were to click, hold my uh, button and drag to create a text box, it would be adding that text box to the layer. Um, when I do that, it opens the uh, edit text window where I can put in my text. I can either type it in, type, or I can paste something that I've already had pasted. Um, let's see. Along with where I want my page breaks to be. Um, you can also see up here, I had one font chosen, font family, I should say. Um, and now it's like a whole bunch of different ones. So maybe I want to just make this all in Ari Arial. Um, and I can change whether it's bold, whether it's regular, depending on what it is. So let's let's go with this one. This nope, that's only giving me regular. Um, here we go. This should yep, I can do all sorts of things. Bold, italic, narrow, whatever is available. It'll, it'll show that. All right, and then the size, which the maximum is 72, the minimum is six, um, but you can really do whatever you want. Let's just do 22, save that, and it'll show what it's gonna look like. Oh, that's really big, that's probably too big. Maybe we go down to 14 and click save, and it'll, well, then that's that's a lot of text. You know what? Maybe I don't want all that text. Ah. Uh, so maybe I just have the sun is a mass of incandescent gas, 12 point. If I don't want this visible anymore, I can click to close it. And if I like, you know what? I don't I, I don't want what that says anymore. Um, good thing I'm still on the select shape tool and I can just double click um, and it will select the text box and I can do whatever I want with that. In fact, maybe I want to change it altogether. I'm going to add a text element to my design and I want it in, gosh, so many different fonts here. Um, but it does show me the past few fonts that I've used up at the top. And I'm going to choose Cooper Black. Uh, Cooper Black only comes in regular. Can I make it bold? Yeah, bold it up a little. And if I made it 72, what would that look like? Wow, that's really big. In fact, that's too big. But I feel like 48, yeah, that's, that's too small. I want something in the middle. Well, I can click in uh, the box with the numbers and backspace and I can type whatever number I want like 65 say I want 65 yeah I like it I like that and I'm going to pick this up and place it where I want I'm gonna put it right there I'm gonna make another one um, if I want my text to be in two different places I do need to do two different text boxes so that okay i'm gonna make that a capital e go back to that cooper black good thing it saved it makes it so much easier and bold and oh nope i got a click there and it was 65 right yep it was all right nope no backspace 65 there we go and save much better and close that and it says love kind of with the, the yellow sun is an O. Yeah, it's it's very 70s. All right. Well, that's pretty cool, but I'm not sure I like the color. So I can use my select shapes tool 
and my tool. Well, I can use tool options, but I can also just go over to color and I can change the color that way. So I could make it white or I could make it pink or yellow or any color in here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to make it white. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, that's that's what I'm going to do so far. I'm going to leave it here and maybe it's like, well, it's not it's not perfect. It's not great. But I can uh, I'm going to leave it here for now and then see what I can do next. So play around with text, add it, check out the different fonts, make it different sizes, put in different places, make it different colors, have fun and make art.